Hi everybody. Uh, so today is uh, Thursday, which means it's my last day of the week. Uh, I am getting ready to uh, to fly to uh, Han this uh, afternoon and evening. Uh, as you know, I've already checked out the weather. Uh, the weather looks like it's going to be pretty windy in Han, but it's pretty much down the runway. So it's gusty weather, which means that it still can be a little bit of handling issues, uh, which means that it's likely that I'm going to be doing the first flight um, to handle the landing. But apart from that, the weather looks quite good and it's good here as well. It might be a little bit foggy later on tonight, but it's not really a problem because in Girona we have category 3 instrument landing system, which means that we can descend even if the, the visibility drops down to about 200 meters of runway visual range, RVR. So that very rarely poses any kind of problem in, in Girona. So what am I doing then? Well, um, since I'm not working until about, it's about 4 o'clock this afternoon, I'm taking the, uh, the time to uh, take a walk out in the absolutely fabulous countryside here in uh, Girona and this uh, here in the bus in Catalonia. Uh, this is something that I always recommend to everyone guys. Um, you need to get out and move around a little bit, get some fresh air, you know. Um, it's, it's good both to keep the body in good shape, I did a video about that before, but, but also just because it clears up your head, you know. It's good for mind, body and soul, as I'd say. Uh, I normally take a, a podcast with me, just go listen. But today I just wanted to clear my head. I have a little bit of troubles at the moment. Uh, since my base has reduced down to for the winter roster, uh, I am meant to be doing simulator duties. And because of that, I have been rebased to a bigger base so that I can be deadheaded, uh, as it's called when I need to fly out from my current base to the place where I'm doing the sim and then be positioned back again. And for that I've been put in Barcelona uh, on my own accord. Uh, but at the moment they haven't assigned me any sim duties, which means that I've been rostered to fly out of Barcelona instead. Now, that doesn't sound like a big problem, but Barcelona is one and a half hours away from here. So it looks like I'm going to have to drive one and a half hours and then work 12 hours to then drive one and a half hours back. And that is not something that I am uh, that interested in doing. So at the moment I am talking to my employer to see what we can figure out. Uh, but that's why I need to clear my head a little bit. Because uh, like you see, yeah, I have problems just like everyone else. But um, stay tuned and uh, I'll uh, keep this uh, vlog going to when I'm going to work later on. Hi guys, time to start getting ready for going to work. So I'm gonna go in and get myself a uh, my pilot shirt, get that ironed, take a shower, and then um, I'll hit the car. It takes about 35 minutes to get to the airport, so come with me. Right guys, uniform on, ready to go to work, going to fly to Han today. Um, as you can see, it's absolutely fantastic weather here in Girona, as it has been the last couple of weeks. And uh, I'm gonna be in a little bit early because I'm planning to maybe do a little bit of filming for you guys uh, before we get going, um, providing that I have an aircraft to um, uh, to use. But uh, I'm gonna get in the car now and it takes me about 35 minutes to get to the airport. So see you in a little bit. Right guys, at the airport. So what are my th thoughts about today then? Well, um, I know that today is a good flight. It takes around two hours or so to get to, uh, to Frankfurt Hahn, where I'm going. Um, the potential problems that I can see is that it is very windy. And uh, when it's very windy and especially very gusty, uh, it can create problems like wind shear. Uh, you should check out my wind shear escape uh, collection here in the app if you want to know how we deal with wind shear both in the takeoff and the landing configuration. Uh, so it's gusting up to 35 knots at the moment, which is uh, quite a lot, but it's down the runway, which is a good thing. So it's not crosswind, that uh, makes it easier, but it also makes it harder to keep the airspeed correctly. But apart from that, it might be a little bit foggy when we get back here from home this evening, but it doesn't look like there's any big problems to expect from the day. Uh, but I'm coming in a little bit early anyway to, uh, to speak to my first officers and to, to check what the weather is actually like. So that's what I'm expecting from today. So let's see what actually happens.
Hi guys, so you're actually lucky. Um, today uh, we had a bit of a delay actually. So me and the first officer, we're sitting here waiting for an engineer to come and fix a small problem with the emergency exit lights, which by the way is going to be one of the topics of one of the upcoming videos. So I am sitting here now in the office preparing the flight. Uh, we're still waiting to go to Han, and since we have this delay, we've left the passengers in the um, in the departure hall waiting for the engineer to come. When the engineer comes, we're going to start boarding the passengers and getting ready for flight. But we have a few minutes extra, which is a bit of a luxury. I almost never get the chance to um, to record these things while we're actually flying because we have so tight. When we get out to the aircraft normally, it's about 30 minutes prior to flight. So me and the first officer is just getting straight into getting ready for the departure. Um, I'm going to be pilot flying for this flight, which means that my colleague is out now doing the walk around um, and checking that everything is correct. And then once he would get back in, I'm immediately going to start the briefings. And guys, if you want to know how we do briefings, what it actually looks like, how we do performance calculations and things like that, then I recommend that you get the full setup collection inside of the app. Because in there, you can see in full 360 view exactly what we do, how our briefing sounds, and all of that. So I highly recommend that. But now I'm going to get back to work. I still have to set up the uh, FMC CDU. And if you don't know how to do that, I have an instructional video here in the app about that as well. So see you in a bit. I'm going to give you a report of how the day went when I get some time after the flight uh, this evening. Right, guys, so I am back. We have flown forth and back to Han now. Um, interesting flight, uh, quite on the way over to Han. A little bit of turbulence, which was forecasted. We knew about that during the climb. Not a big problem at all. Uh, flew to Han, enormous shortcuts. And that's something that I've noticed now during the um, during the, the winter month. There's so much less traffic in Europe, so we get a lot of um, shortcuts, and that's normally a good thing, but it can come as a little bit of a surprise, which means that, you know, if you haven't prepared, uh, done your briefing and stuff, and you suddenly get a huge shortcut in the region of like 50 nautical miles, that can actually um, bring you into a situation where you have to brief during the descent, which is something we want to try to avoid. But uh, flight in to Han, it wasn't as windy as forecasted. Um, it was a little bit rainy, uh, did a turnaround there and then flew back here and um, the weather was yeah but starting to get a little bit misty here so we did a category 3 ILS for practice into um, to Girona which went absolutely fine and now uh, we are two hours delayed because of that initial tech problem that I talked about um, so it's almost midnight instead of 10 o'clock which was the original landing time but uh, but all in all very good day and I'm gonna go back home now get um, get a bit of a snack and then go to bed have i hope you're liking these uh, vlogs guys i'm going to keep doing them whenever something interesting happen um and uh yeah have a lovely lovely day wherever you are when you're seeing this bye